this lab we're going to look at the uh, respiratory system we're going to look at how the gas exchange occurs between the alveoli and capillaries and also we're going to look at how gas exchange occurs between the capillaries and the cell the goal of today's lab is going to be to review the major organs of respiratory system we're going to look at the main uh, structures uh, of respiratory zone and we're going to look at the microscopic anatomy of the alveoli let's look uh, follow the ear and look at some of the major organs of the respiratory system uh, nasal cavity or external uh, nostrils are the first region that the ear enters so the ear enters uh, through the nasal uh, uh, area external nasal area and then it goes to the nasal cavity and the next organ after the nasal cavity that the ear passes through is the pharynx and then it goes to the larynx and then it goes to the trachea and it goes to bronchi and then at the lungs gas exchange occurs we're gonna look a little bit more details what actually uh, happens inside the lungs how the gas exchange occurs uh, uh, here we're going to demonstrate the relationship of the pleuri and uh, 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 that surrounds the uh, uh, lungs. So basically, each lung over here is surrounded by two layers of the uh, uh, serous membrane known as pleuri. Uh, we could uh, de demonstrate here the relationship of the pleuri that surrounds the lungs, and over here we show that the fist, if you push it against uh, uh, your fist against the uh, uh, water filled balloon that will demonstrate how basically the lung is surrounded by the pleuri uh, you see your fist over here when you p push your fist against the balloon the balloon would indicate that this balloon is basically the uh, pleuri and your fist is the lungs and it consists of like the cavity over here that contains the fluid and it consists of two membranes as you see the two membranes here and as we uh, uh, looked at it earlier the pleura itself consists of like two membranes uh, visceral and parietal and we're going to look at both of them uh, 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 here uh, if we remove the uh, pleural cavity over here and we're going to look at it that the two cavities over here that the pleural cavity with the fluid is shown over here and it shows the visceral membrane now as we said like within the lungs uh, those bronchi are further branched into smaller ones uh, and this branching of the bronchi into smaller airways is known as bronchial tree and we're going to look at the bronchial tree uh, in a little bit more details uh, each bronchi will further divide or branch into primary bronchi and then it's into secondary bronchi and each secondary bronchi will further branch into tertiary bronchi and tertiary bronchi will further branch into bronchioli and then you have terminal bronchioli and you have the respiratory zone and uh, uh, as this branching occur one thing you should notice over here that the amount of cartilage decreases and the amount of smooth muscle increases and when you come to the bronchioli you don't see any more cartilage over here you see uh, uh, just smooth muscles and uh, 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 the amount of cartilage has been disappearing as it branches further down and we're going to look at the respiratory zone over here in a little bit more details the respiratory zone over here uh, uh, as you look at it uh, it contains the respiratory bronchial uh, and the alveoli and each bronchioli uh, over here respiratory bronchioli may also contain some of the alveoli in their wall uh, and then you have the uh, alveoli with the bronchioli over here that forms the alveolar sac uh, here we see the uh, uh, gas exchange at the alveoli if you recall the information from the previous labs we said the pulmonary arteries deliver the blood to the lungs gas exchange occurs at the lungs and then the pulmonary veins take the blood back to the uh, uh, heart so from the heart blood comes through the pulmonary arteries pulmonary arteries will branch into smaller arteries that we call it capillaries and the capillaries uh, surround like a network each alveoli gas exchange occurs at each alveoli and then after the gas exchange 
the uh, blood becomes oxygenated this oxygenated blood is delivered back to the heart by the uh, capillaries we're gonna look a little bit more details at the alveoli over here now let's look what the uh, alveoli is uh, what kind of cells are consist of and how does the inside of the alveoli look so this is the alveoli over here that we're looking at the inside of the alveoli and uh, uh, we see that the three type of cells consist uh, or make up uh, the alveoli the alveoli itself the wall of the alveoli consists of the uh, cell that we call it simple squamous cell over here so the wall of the alveoli all throughout consists of this type of cell in addition to the squamous uh, uh, simple squamous epithelium we see two type of other cells one type of the cell is called macrophages that's responsible for defense and the other type is the sarfocon uh, secreting cells that we're going to look at it later on now let's look how the uh, macrophage what role plays uh, the macrophage as you could see over here is responsible for uh, 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 non-specific defense so microorganisms entering the airways are engulfed by the macrophages and cleaned let's look at the sarfocon cells uh, and uh, uh, see what is the sarfocon cells do uh, the alveoli uh, 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 surface tension as you see over here uh, uh, it prevents it from collapsing so the collapsing of the alveoli is regulated by the sarfocon secreting cells we're going to look at the uh, here how actually the gas exchange occurs so this one is the capillary and this is the alveoli so let's look at enlargement uh, how the gas exchange occurs as you could see over here uh, oxygen is transported into the capillaries and carbon dioxide from the capillaries is transported out into alveoli so this is the alveolar sir, uh, uh, space and this is the capillary so oxygen goes from the alveoli to the capillary and carbon dioxide from the capillary to the alveoli so this is the first gas exchange occurs at the lungs let's look at the uh, 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 gas exchange generally R if you recall from the previous labs 